How's it going, YouTube? Jericon here, and welcome back to Skyrim. Welcome back to Skyrim. Oh boy, last time, last time, this, uh, this Draugr Death Lord disarmed us while we were trying to do a sneak attack, and at least he didn't do any damage to us. But he did do a little dis. Hey, Pebbles. That's, uh,. Pebbles is my mom's dog, and she just came into the room while I'm recording and laid on my dog's bed, because she's selfish like that. So what we're doing in this episode is we're basically just trying to beat this guy down as much as we can. I don't have the means to just go up there and, and uh, embarrass it. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Need to back off, Mr. Death Lord. And I should be able to go up to him and do some damage with a little sneak um, with the dagger, but last time I tried that, it. Come on. Last time I tried that, it didn't do anything, really. And I don't want to risk it, and I don't know where my dagger is. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. If we can get him maybe to half or so, we can probably summon Mr. Flames and just go at him that way. Unless he recovers some health here. Jeez, it's not doing enough. This is taking too long. Uh, Okay. We gotta focus. We gotta focus and really just... Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know if that will come across on the recording, but... Pebbles tends to make noise when she lays down and adjusts and things like that. Yeah, she's named Pebbles because she's... She's white and has black spots, but not kind of, not like a Dalmatian. It's just kind of, you could, you could count the number of black spots, whoa, that she has. But she has those, and then on her stomach, she has, um, like, freckles on her, all around her stomach. And so we named her Pebbles. And she is about, man, she's like 14 years old. Jeez. Then my dog, we actually named, actually named Sadie, and we got her like two, uh, let's see, two and a half? No, like two and a couple of years ago. Or, wow, two and a couple of months years ago. <laughs> However you want to say that, 26 months. Let's just let's just say that. And she was a rescue. So we got her a good home to live in, and she's been she's had a much no 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 no. Let me just pick that up. She's had a much better life, I think, since we took her in. And she is. Uh, let's see. So we got her, she's probably about four now, because I think we got her when she was two. And we don't really know what she is. She is like a, she looks like a German Shepherd, but she is about half the size of one, and she has really short stubby legs, and a curly tail, and so we don't really know what all, what all is mixed in there. There's got to be some German Shepherd though, no doubt. Oh! Big face full of Death Lord. Okay, let us okay, let us just well on him while he's run. Nope, nope, nope. All right, quick, quick, put the bow away because we do not want to lose that item too. And good, Mr. Flames is. Kind of pitched him in there. Oh shit! 
Flames down. Flames down. Flames down. Oh gosh, there goes the Orcus Dagger. This is just not going well. This isn't going well. Flames down again. We are in the belly of the bee. Oh my gosh. He has a bow and arrow. Well, well, roll it out. Roll it out. Roll it out. <laughs> Come through, flames. Can you do it? Can you do it for me? One more shot. That's all we got. He is running. He knows. He knows his time is limited here. Oh, there he is. Not that limited. We need a... We do not have enough for another... Um... Let's see. I did start the recording, right? Yeah, okay. Woo! Uh, we need Potion of Magicka. But I don't want to use the extra. Let's use the minor. Okay. And pop it out. There we go. Yeah. Uh. I can't I can't hit him. There we go. I don't know if I punched him to death or if my Mr. Flames got him, but Okay. Jeez. I don't even know if I have an orcish bow. Is that what I have? Yeah. Okay, so I don't need to... I don't need to take that then. Oh, my lord. Let's see. We've got two daggers to find. Although, it's okay if I don't find the orcish dagger. But I do need to find that other one. Is this a trap? What would have happened? I do need to find the other dagger. The Blade of Woe. I need that. Let's see. I might have to cut it until I find it. Finally. Jeez. Okay. We found both the Orcish, da Orcish dagger and the Blade of Woe. That took like two minutes. So we'll see. We'll see if I cut that out or not. Ceremonial Axe. We can go into the Elder's Kiern. I don't know how to say that word. I say Kiern because that's what it... It's funny to say that. It's funny. Alright, I need to put... Uh, let's put the Blade of Woe there. And that way we have it ready to go. Ready to spread some woe. So that was up here. Yeah. Okay. Into the, the Kiern door. Let's get behind the table or something. Defeat Neville? What the fuck's Neville? Is this one of those... Oh, is this one of those uh, dragon priest things... Because I'm going to get my socks absolutely rocked if that's what this is. And I don't need to do that. I do, my socks do not need to be rocked today. I'm just fine without that. I hear some intense sounds. Is that thing alive? Is that alive? Okay. So, I'm seeing a theme already of um, fire. Man, this may be bad. This could have been a bad decision. Could have been a bad decision. Probably was a bad decision. Yeah. 
But if I can't... Oh, no. Well, I see Neville up there. Knievel or whatever. Holy shnikes. What am I going to do here? There's a driver scourge up there. Why? Why? All right, we're going to have to like bust out different arrows because I've been trying to conserve the stronger arrows. But like those do 10. Those are better than the ones I'm using. And then these are like beasts. We have 184. Let's switch to the ancient Nord arrows and do a little bit more damage. Man, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but I really want to beat this guy before ending the video. Nobody moved. Nobody's moving. Okay, now they're moving. That score just has to go down. He has to go down before I can do anything. But we know once I summon Mr. Flames, it's all over. You know, there's there's no coming back from that, really. So either somehow I have to keep pulling him in here and away from uh, whatever his name is. Or we just keep chipping him down. This may not be too fun to watch, but my heart is being a little too fast right now. Is that the... That's Neville. Where's the Scourge? Where is he? Um... Excuse me. Where, okay, there he is. Jeez. Okay, he didn't. He didn't stay. He didn't stay. Oh, go away. Go away. So the scourge is almost down. If we cut that those two minutes off then we're down to about 13 minutes so we should have hopefully enough time to kill the scourge here as well as the big boss up there now where in the world did the scourge go this time Oh, there he is. Okay. Let me just get a little closer to the exit here. Line it up real nice. And fire away. He's going to come down here looking for a fight. He's going to get another arrow. And a third one. Okay. He's down. Neville the Tongue is searching for us now. Is he coming in the cave or in the... He is. Oh, wait. No, he wasn't. He was going to the side of it. So are we at a little safe position here then? Is he not going to come in here? All right. Tell you what. We're going to give it one good shot here. That just... That doesn't even look right to me. There we go. <laughs> Didn't even look right. We're going to see if perhaps... Nope! 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 Go, 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 go. I don't even want to summon. I don't even want to summon. Okay. Well. Why is there another... Dr what the hell? Where did they come from? Well, they've got to go. Can't be a uh, blocking our escape route. All right, <sighs> let's go back. And 
And I guess let's just pull out the bow again, because that did not work even a little bit. The only way I think it'll, it would work is if we could sneak up behind him while he was walking back to his chair. Which we may try to do that. But right now he's going back to his chair anyway. Alright, Neville. A little arrow. And another one. And let's run, let's run, 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 run. A little faster, a little faster. I could have rolled. Let's go ahead and pull the blade out. I'll whip my blade out. Alright. See, he's going he's going too quickly back to his chair there. Need to walk a little bit. Nope. Dag gum it. I can't sneak up on him. Ah, uh, okay. Well, shit fire. Oh. He just said crowed in or crawled in at me. You better watch your mouth. But he seems to be ice, so maybe, maybe flames will have a good time with that. He does go in the little cave here, which it seemed like they wouldn't go that way, but surprise! This would be our best chance to sneak up behind him. Whoa. If he didn't teleport. All right. Boom. We got him. Look at that sneak. That's an expensive sword. Can I hold it? Wait, nine. Sure. I don't have a lot of room for other stuff, though. Oh, we did it. He didn't, that was so weird because we uh, got him from behind and he didn't know where we were. He even turned around and was looking right at us. And yet before, geez, these are expensive. And yet before, it didn't matter. We still couldn't, oh gosh, okay. We're going to have to put some stuff back. That one's not as expensive as the other one. So we're going to store that one. I have a glass dagger. I didn't do as much damage though. Well, don't need that. And everything else, I could take that too, but let's look here again. Chest. I need to take those. I could sell those and make some, make some decent okay money. Now what am I doing? Is that, is that just it? Is that it for that mission? I don't, like, return to anybody, or... Let's make sure I didn't leave anything here. Nope. Well, alright. I guess that's it. For that mission sure let's just head on out I guess there's a word wall well I guess out we go got another chest here though And that appears to be it. Is there a shortcut back to... No, it looks like it just ends. Wow. Okay. Where does this go? Is 
takes me back this way. There's probably a quicker way out, but we'll go back to Volenrude and head back to Skyrim, and I think that's going to do it. Yeah, we're right at 20, 21 minutes if I cut out that search time. So we will end the video after I get out of here. We'll get through that last loading screen, though. It sucks having to start a video with a loading screen, although it usually happens. And I think what I'll do off screen, actually, um, hmm. I'm thinking of searching around Sarthal for some key or something, just off screen, seeing if I can find anything, which I, I think I've done that before, though. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take a little break from recording here. This is only the third episode in a row I've recorded, and I have a, a habit of recording about six or seven in a row. So I'm just going to take a little short break. And did I go back to Skyrim already, or is this still going to Volan, Volanrude? Volanrude. No, we went back to Skyrim. All right, cool. It's an empty chest. Um, next time, I'm not sure what we're going to do. We may actually go ahead and, and for reals, for realsies, do the main quest, next main quest mission. But, uh, we'll see. I'm going to look around Sarthal right quick. I might actually look up what to do. There's Shadowmere. And so, that's what we'll do next time, probably. I don't know. I don't want to promise anything. But, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, thumbs up, whatever it's called. And I'd really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to me. Brightens my day and everything. I uh, appreciate all the support so far on this series. Um, the likes are starting to add up. And that makes me a, a very happy man. So I appreciate all the support. I hope we can keep it going. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.